And welcome back to Jeff Kunangi live at the Villa Rosa Kempinski on this Politics 101 Wednesday. And I tell you, if you're just joining us on KTN Home and KTN News, the show is literally on fire. Twitter is aflame. We're going to go straight to the tweets because Miguna Miguna and Esther Pasares are in the house and they're literally going at each, other, at each other's throats. Ian Kenyon, you say Esther Pasares can't stand Miguna's heat. She just rattled a snake. Kibuya and Joroge, you say, so what? This statement has no limbs or legs. Last I checked, this was not criminal, whatever that means, okay? Frederick Okango, you say, oh my God, protect Esther Pasares from Miguna Miguna. This is going south. And then, Aguindo O. Nicholas, you say, Miguna will never even a cat never even be a cattle dip chairman i'm sorry you have no room in nairobi Woo, i tell you as the roderick you say esther posaris is going to scratch someone oh my goodness <laughs> all right folks keep tweeting at miguna miguna at esther posaris at Quinanga jeff by the way i must mention at this point i had invited all the gubernatorial candidates for nairobi two showed up the other nine well they chose not to, which is fine. Show must go on, and it is, and we're going on. We're going to get to issues right now because I have notes, actually, on the issues affecting Nairobi County, everything from corruption to unemployment, traffic, education, which they both mentioned at the top of the show. But I have to give Esther Posaris just one minute, one minute to respond to the... That means you're going to give her twice. I did not ask Miguna, any questions. Miguna, Miguna you, you mentioned I, the I sex holiday... Ask. But I did not ask any questions. No, but she has to respond. No, you're wasting you're time. Now you're wasting time. No, I'm going to allow you. Okay. But, but you are not being You there. refuse to ask a question directly. You yeah, asked I, I, I didn't think it was, a, it was relevant. So now she asked yeah. you. Yeah. Pasaris, go. Okay. I mean, the thing is, he is so full of rumors and rumors and rumors. All right? First of all, before he starts peeling the mask of everyone else, he should peel, up his, peel his own mask. For me, I feel he has no respect for women. And 50% of the voters in this city are women, okay? They said um, the same thing about Trump. No, the thing is, let me tell you something. Only he has something in... He has women something, card will not excuse work. Excuse me, I thought you were a gentleman, but obviously you're you not. You have Can no you support from quiet? women. All right. You are the most unpopular mean, woman in this city. You don't know that? Okay. Well, I'm telling you today. Let me tell you something, Miguna. You're you are basically not. chased away from ODM screaming by women. Okay, you know... You forgot that? Let me tell ODM just... women chase you away. Okay, Miguna, Esther. Miguna, let her, let her talk. You have absolutely zero support Miguna, from let women. Her talk. Okay, okay. Go. let me tell you something. First of all, let's get back to the lighting, which he says Parliament did whatever they did. In case he doesn't know, I have a commendation, Order of the Golden Warrior, on my, on my, <laughs> from the government of Kenya for lighting up Nairobi. So I was recognized by the president. Kibaki for actually lighting up Nairobi. He has no commendation whatsoever. And in, another thing is, I have never raped anyone, okay? I think he should look at himself and what he stands for before he starts accusing and uh, attacking everyone Everybody else. Everybody is raping right? you, Pasaris. Let me tell you Everybody something. Everybody is raping you. Do me a favor. Do me a favor. Everybody wants to rape you, Pasaris. Oh. You are so beautiful. Everybody wants to rape oh. Pasaris. Miguna, Miguna, okay. You know, let me tell you she something. brought it. She mentioned it. Who wants to I'm going to have to use my extinguisher, folks, but let's she get to issues. No. Can we get to issues? Yes, let's get to issues. Let's get to issues. Let's get to issues. Let's let's get to issues. To let's get to issues. Miguna, corruption in yes. Nairobi County, ghost workers, tenderpreneurs, Kanjo Kingdom. What are you going to do about it? Tell us real quick. Okay. Um, first of all, this woman is very, very corrupt. All right? And I'm going to deal with corrupt people, including her. Because the thing she calls commendations, her company is just a private company doing business, being paid to do get business. Get to the point, Miguna. I'll get to the point. The first thing I will do, and it is documented in the manifesto, the only man with the manifesto in the city, is to do a forensic audit of everyone. All right? That was done by Kisya already. No, no, let me finish. Okay, let me finish and let me finish my part. Kesia cannot do anything. It's not qualified to do anything. A forensic audit by a professional forensic auditor, which has nothing to do with the government, completely equidistant. Once so you do that, once you first. do that. Once I do that, we would identify all the fake contracts, all the cartels, all the corrupt government officers, 
all the money that have been stolen, we will then present the evidence to the DPP for arrest of these people. Because you see, the problem with Kenya right now is that the ESCC is not doing its job. Mm. The ESCC has been captured by the cartels. The police is not doing its job. The DPP then waits for these investigative agencies to bring the evidence. The court waits for the, the files after people have been charged to prosecute. But the files have been mangled and the evidence is not adequate. So why are you taking so, it to the DPP then? Because in terms of prosecution, the DPP has the constitutional mandate to prosecute. And if nothing is the, done? If nothing is done, well, Kenyans would know that I am doing something. Because, number one, the people that would be working for City Hall who have not been fired would be fired. The properties that have been acquired illegally, there is an authority, a constitutional legal authority, that is supposed to be repossessing land, for example, that were acquired illegally, that evidence would be, go be going to that authority for purposes of repossession. Stop. Look, I mean, right Sorry, now, right now, there are lots of vacancies in the anti-corruption. That's where he needs to go. OK, what he, would you do about corruption, Esther? Let me tell, tell me. you something. First of all, I think right now, corruption is the buzzword. But I really don't want to focus my attention on corruption. I want to focus my attention on services. I'll get to and the let... services. I want to know what will you do about Kanjo Kingdom, about the cartels, the mafia that controls Nairobi City County? What would you do? Let me tell you what. There, there are institutions that you can invite inside the county. And I think we would have to partner with institutions that are mandated to deal with that issue. All right? streamline what the systems that are already there. There are some good systems. There are some good workers. There is a lot of corruption going on in there. But I don't think that's the buzzword that we should just say that's what we're going to focus on. I think there are entities that are supposed to focus on corruption. Okay. And let that's me, where I would Let me stop it. you there. Yeah. The other day, you were seen or you took a tour of the city with Governor Evans Kidero. Okay. I and then at the end of it all, you were quoted as saying, I will support Governor Kidero until the end of his term. His term ends on April 8, 2017, on, the, on election day, whether he'll be re-elected or not. Okay, let me tell you something, uh, Jeff, okay? Right now, I'm running, for, I want to run for governor. I cannot neglect the things that are happening in this city. I went to Kayole, Calvary Covenant School. It had been demolished by Council Ascaris. Here is a pre-unit which serves about 100 students. I decided to actually go with the, uh, the bishop from Calvary Covenant School, went into uh, city county, met with the officers that are there, the, the lands office, the, the governor, yeah. the housing office, and actually my idea was, here we have a school that's been demolished. Why are we demolishing schools? But school? you said you are going, I, why no, did you go with Kidero? I, why did I go with Kidero? He's the governor. He's the one who has to stop this. Did I you didn't support want the him? School. Let me tell you what, at that particular point, my, my, my mandate was to help the students in Calvary ensure that their school is not demolished. Somebody was after that land. Kidero needs to deal with it. I can't deal with it. A true leader puts differences aside and solves the problem. So when I, took Kider when I invited Kidero to come to Calvary, he came, he spoke, he said he's going to ensure that they get the title and he's going to ensure that they get protection. What because you, the okay. demolition was conducted sure, by Kidero's sure. people. What do you mean by you will support Kidero to the end of his term? Let me tell you something. Do you support Kidero. Right now, I went to a few other schools. There are lots of community-based schools that are my body sheds. And I said to Kidero, look, I know you need $60 billion from the government. For me, I want some of that money right, over the next one year to go to the community-based schools. If you can tell me that you're going to put a billion shillings to helping these community-based schools acquire their land, build the structure so that they can, get, they can get teachers, they can get food, they can get laptops, and they can school in decent areas. Jeff, we've got children, thousands of children in this city, schooling under Mabati with clay on the floor so, and no facilities from the government. So, so, so I want to so solve you're, that you're problem gonna, now, okay, that billion not shillings, wait until next year. That billion shillings. Who, who, who is Kidero to give you that billion? No, who let are me you? tell you something. Kidero is the governor. If he understands that the children of this city are studying, the capital city, it's a shame that children are studying in Mabati sheds and they're not getting any services from the government because the school is not compliant. So let's work on a program to make it compliant. If I can achieve that within the next six months or a year, for me, I would have served their Are you supporting Kidero to the end of his term? Let me tell you, he's the governor. And as long as he is there and I need services, let me say, come get me market burnt down. 
<laughs> all right? I was there to see the people of Kangemi. All right? Right now, we've here. got, right now we've got so many, we, we, we've got so many problems in this city. The governor and the 10 ministers in that county are the only people that can help us solve are those Are you going to run against him or are you going to support him? I'm going him? to run against him when the elections are there. Jeff, we cannot politic five years of the, of, of the term. Right now, it's not a time to politic. Right now, it's a time to give people services. Miguna. Yes, this is a picture that Pasaris took with Kidero. A selfie. Willie, Willie, could we um, could you right. zoom in on that? This it's is nice a that he follows me. It's nice that, that he follows excuse me. Excuse me. It's right. a selfie. She tweeted it. And why and not? She, so, so I'm not following you. I'm showing a picture that you took with Kidero. A selfie. Is that a sin to no, take a picture with Kidero? I was very quiet when you were talking. Can no, you, you please were not. Okay. Yeah, let him talk. Let him talk. Please, I did not interfere okay, with you. Okay, go on. What's your point? So the point What's is your this. point? Clearly... This is a lady that is supporting Kidero. She's supporting Kidero despite I the fact that... I was very proud of the governor finish, for please. actually coming to let the school. Can I finish, no, please? I was very proud of the governor for coming to the school, addressing the problem... I know that, okay. And basically but Mikuna, promising... Mikuna, 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 say please, please, go on. Let me oh, Jeff, honestly. This is a selfie taken by her... And what's wrong with that? ...to show people how close they are. These are buddies. Oh. You could have been this there, Miguna. Because I don't want to no, be with Miguna these. cannot walk there, I Nairobi. cannot be with He goes Patel. from Canada to Rwanda to Jeff Poinangelai. Go on. Go on. That's it. Jeff, Go on. Jeff, you're loud. Oh, please. Pasari is to speak. Cry, baby. Cry, okay. baby. Can I please, please cry. Can I speak. Can I speak. 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 Uh, quickly. Get that point across. We no, need no. Get the I'm point going across. to get my point across. So this is a flower girl for Kidero. Oh, She's wow. probably paid and sponsored by Kidero to stand. How did you say that, Miku? Okay, I'm saying that because, number one, she doesn't have a party. She has not said she's standing you as don't an have independent. A party. I'm standing as an independent. I've declared that. You have not declared she that. She tried to register she a party. Just wait, wait, but she didn't. I don't have she to. doesn't have a party. There's she has not, not said she's independent. Right uh -huh. She's not said she's independent. She said she's supporting Kidero. She has no manifesto. She has absolutely nothing. Okay, it's just mouth. Hold on. Number two. No. You. Number two. We no, get your point. We get your point. Now I'm getting my point. You allow me to get you my point. You are giving him too much time. Number. Honestly, no wonder nobody me, wants to come here. Number yet. three. Number three, my friend. I'm not your friend. The lady Please. has already said she's supporting Kidero up to the now. end of his time. You're a lady. You're 50, oh, thank We are 52. You. You're a lady. Oh, you wow. want me to call you what? A man? So she's a lady. She said he's she's supporting Kidero up to the end of his He is not his intelligent. Term. I hope Kenya so can okay. see the that. Question is, can the we question, get... question is, no, let me speak. Yes. My, my friend, you brought an issue. She has spoken You've on it. You've made your point. I'm going to speak You've on it. You've made your point. So a man, Kidero is a man who has presided over an unprecedented looting spree in this city. Now, his CFO, Chief of, uh, of, of Finance, Kiamba, stole... 1.6 billion in two years. He's facing charges in court. His chief of staff, Mr. Wainaina, has stolen the size of Nairobi. He's facing charges in court. Kidero is a man with no credibility and a thief. If somebody says, I'm supporting a thief, why do you want to stand as governor if you're supporting okay, a thief? Okay, we because get your you point. Kidero is not here to defend himself, but uh, I'm sure you he's You can only listening. support a thief if you're a thief. Okay, next issue. The city is famous for its endemic traffic. Esther Pasares, what would you do? What would you do to ease congestion? Because the man hours that are lost every single day in traffic are just uncountable. Go on. Do you know, I mean, we need definitely a bus lane and we need, we need discipline on our roads. And I think the infrastructure is not able to cope with the number of cars that we have in this city. So, they, I mean, the government's talking about toll booths, etc for to decongest Nairobi but I feel when the bypass is open we might actually have a solution right now to say we're going to have trams so we're going to have rails in the city I don't see that I don't see the space uh, we have a water table underneath we cannot have tubes underneath and we don't have the capacity or the money to do that right now what what Nairobi needs is a good system of transport that will enable people like you and I who What actually, system is that? Well, I mean, look, at the moment, right now, you have matatus, okay? You and I are not going to get into the matatus, and the matatus have a lot of indiscipline. So what we need to do is have bigger buses, and then also have them going all over the city, find a way to get bus stops all over, and have a bus lane. So that when you have a bus lane and it moves faster and it's going everywhere, then people will feel more comfortable to climb into those buses. Would you get rid of matatus? 
my tattoos, I think those very small mini buses, really, we have to do away with them because they're too many and the city cannot afford, uh, cannot cope with it. Maguna, transport, traffic. Transport, that's a beautiful question. This is where I am good. In 1963, Bangkok, Thailand, was the size of Migori town and Muranga town. Nairobi was probably a city already in 1963. Mm. Now, for people who have traveled or who read, Bangkok is a swamp, really a swamp, a lagoon. In 2016, as we speak, Bangkok is a thriving city with a tube, which is the subway system, with a, a, an LRT, which is a light rail mm -hmm. a transit system, mm -hmm. with a public bus system, with a train bus system. You're talking Bangkok. Bangkok. You're talking Nairobi. No, but I'm giving what you an example. What would you do? Please, please. When people say here, and they say all over, that there is high water table in Nairobi, and you cannot have a subway system. When the Thais have a subway system in Bangkok, which is a swamp, and Thailand, Bangkok, was the smaller size was smaller than Nairobi, mm. then you know these people do not have vision. Maybe. We can have, so I'm going to have a subway system here. You are. I'm going to have is a that, light. Is that part of your drain the it, swamp? No. The drain the swamp is for the cartels. Oh. But there's, there's no swamp in Nairobi that needs to be drained for a subway system. You just have to know uh, technology. Mm. Look at Amsterdam. It's built on a reclaimed ocean. Yeah, it's underwater. It's underwater. Yeah. So there is nobody who can say who is sensible, who has studied, who has traveled, that can tell you that. Okay, how, 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 how soon would you initiate that? How, how soon would you initiate that? Immediately Good. I get into office, I will have a strategic plan done in terms of feasibility study done, engineers to come up with the most efficient way of doing it. You know that would take like five, ten years? No, you know it won't. Because the subway system in New York, in uh, Montreal, or in Amsterdam, they were built under ten years. All you need is break the ground, put uh, the, unveil the infrastructural development, mm. fund it, and it will be done. So that's two terms, right? So No, that's not two terms. That's actually one term. I said Montreal was done in six years. This, you can leave... After, it, was, it is almost... Would completed. you get rid of Matatus, Miguna? But, no, I can't speak about getting rid of Matatus, but they will not get into the city. The Matatus should not get into the city. The Matatus should be bringing people and leaving them in the outskirts of the city. Then you have a system of transportation system within the city. The light rail system, the train, uh, the buses, that should be able to... And the subway should be able to take care of the city. Okay. Then, Wait. then... Mm. I will remove all the roundabouts and install lights that function, that are efficient. What about Kidero's grass? What do you mean? That has nothing to do with transport. Oh, sorry, okay. And it is not Kidero's grass because he did not take his looted money to, to, to buy the grass. It's our grass. Esther, you have one minute to respond to that. Do you know, I mean, it's, it's pies in the sky, okay? I mean, the budget of the county government right now is about 15, 40 billion, between 15 and 40 billion. They've got a huge debt. Uh, debt right now to pay as well. And for me, when you're talking about these grand plans, you know, we've got a vision 2030, you've got the central government, you've got, uh, you, you cannot come in isolation and say, I'm going to give you this and I'm going to give you this. I mean, he's talking about manifestos. For me, we've had manifestos and manifestos and manifestos. At the end well, of the day... Well, you don't have one. At the, well, I don't need one well, because at the end of the so day... So how will the people put you to account when because, they have nothing concrete because, that they can say, you gave us this, you did not deliver? Look, we've it's had... It's just so, words, words. Let me tell you something. You're the one with a lot no, this of is words. Written. It's written, yes. Okay, yeah, it's fine. Written. You have it's a not written. Words. You have, it is words because it's in a the document. end, nobody is going to be able to. Anybody who has gone to school this. know the value of a document. Or, listen, Moy had a manifesto. No, right? Moy didn't. Kidero had a manifesto. Moy didn't. What has he done with his manifesto? Moy was a dictator. Okay, you he did have not a have a manifesto. You know, I, I, he ruled us for 24 years. You know, by this force. reminds me a lot of the Trump Hillary debates. Yeah. You know, that no, uh, there's a lot Jeff, of uh, Jeff, uh, similarities. Jeff, let me tell you something. You know, we have to tell the city of Nairobi the truth. 
the truth is you cannot give them a Trump system in six years. You're not going to be able to do it even in 10 years. The government has a plan. You don't come in Which and say government? we are Which the government this has failed one? Place. Let me tell you something. It's a failed one, and there will be a president, Miguna. And with that kind of attitude, you're not going to be able it's to work with the central government. It's a failed one, and I'm ready to say it's a okay. failed one. You're saying the country listen, government. Kenyans, you're saying, saying the country government. government. Itself, Kenyans, the listen to me. Mm. Kenyans, Why it's a, the county the government. Then? No, listen. Why you're jumping you all over. You can't make me what failed. I run for. Okay. I run for what I want to run for. Go listen, on. the problem with this country are people like Pasaris, Kidero, and the rest who have made up their minds that there is a lower standard for Africa and Kenya and Nairobi, that there are things we cannot do, there are things we cannot become. Citizens of Nairobi cannot ride in a subway system because it cannot be done. Other people have done it. They were not created after Africans. God did not create Caucasians first, and then he woke up one day and said, let me create Africans. Mm. Kenya was not created after New York or after the U.S., Nairobi did not come into being after Bangkok or after Amsterdam, like I said. All these places were created once in the same time. Okay, we're going to take Our a break. Come back. Willie, let's go to the tweet. Let's read yeah. that tweet. Uh, hold that thought, Miguna. Hold that thought. I, I feel you, man. I feel you. But Ike Kenneth says, Miguna Miguna has good ideas, but he's going nowhere. Yes, because he is not supporting me. That's a, an ODM diehard that comes there to throw stones. I expect the stones. I have no problem. I cannot respond to him. Let him support the cartels. But we are going to drain them whether they like it or not. Joel Obunga says that bench is damn hot. Miguna is explosive. Pasaris is a tough lady. On that note, let's take a break. Come back. Let's talk about education, youth, housing, garbage. Correct. How's that? Good. Let's do that. I'm ready. I know you are. Drain the swamp. <laughs> Keep tweeting. At Miguna, Miguna, at Esther Pasaris. Why don't you two run as a team? I would never work with him. I was just asking. At Kunanga Jet. I can't the run with cartels. <laughs> you know, I can't wait. The hashtag the suit. is race for Nairobi. Because you don't Nairobi know law, therefore you think you can or you Miguna have never been drain the swamp. You brought it on, my dear. Yes. You can't sue because of this. I can. You came on live TV? Yes. You guys go on you a break. You don't know that your lawyer did not tell you that? You, you can't come on live you TV. You invited. Me.